Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general message and it's also timeless, so it's for you whenever you reach it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Please give me a message for Gemini. Hope you guys are doing okay here. King of Cups is here. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to pull another card. I feel like y'all going to have to refocus, shift your um shift your focus. All right, let's see. Queen of Wands. Ooh. Somebody's showing up. Okay. And uh, wh whoever this is, there's some kind of like strong passion. Strong emotions. Look at this. The chariot is your overall energy. Look, let me let me tell you this. I can tell you. Um Whatever happened in this connection, it it was to help you. It's helping you. I, I, listen, it's probably the biggest favor whatever transpired in a connection with someone. Because uh, you're showing up more attractive, if I can say that. Okay? And no pun intended. But this person got you looking really good out there. Because you have gained your confidence. You have realized your worth. You are inspired to start creating something. And whatever it is you create from this, ex after this experience, it's going to, it's going to be like the bomb diggity. If I could say that. <laughs> I just feel like, um, first of all, if you are like still holding any kind of, negative feelings towards someone because of what happened in a relationship let that go please let that go you you got good stuff coming in you got good stuff coming in really good stuff oh you got the chariot major achievements are about to be reached here listen to the messages that are coming in Whatever you about to um, embark on, it's going to be helpful to humanity. I see it um, actually like ta ta uh, tapping, excuse me, into like a major, major, I could say energy bank that's going to shift shift like the energies around you therefore positively affecting uh not only having positive effects on you but the people around you so it's going to actually help humanity whatever this is whatever it is cuz you literally are about to um Guys, I'm. It's like I'm seeing. I see you merging with people, almost like no longer like seeing the negative sides of people, but understanding why, understanding why they show up the way that they're supposed to. This is having an affinity for people. I'm talking law of one here, y'all. Like the collective consciousness. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm saying. This, for some of you, it might be too much, but um, you're gonna have to understand the role this person played, though. Some of you, it's a, a lack of understanding. 
is what is holding you back from something. You're reaching a major achievement. The moon. Oh, yes. Oh, man. And I was getting that. Oh, this fell, which means they want me to th turn it over. I was getting that. I was getting. A, so um, the moon, there's um, a lot of you have some psychic abilities strongly connected with your um, your gifts. Oh, you can move mountains. You can move mountains. Ooh. Whoever you dealt with, whatever you went through, listen, if anything, you need to be telling them. Thank you. You, listen, y'all. Ooh, this is big. This is big. Yep. New territory. I knew it. The fool. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. New territory. Um, what's coming for you? You have never experienced it before. I can guarantee you that. It's huge. I keep hearing like, get out of your feelings, get out of your feelings. Um, there's no room and where you're going, there's no room for um, like, resentment or any of those lower vibrational energies here root chakra showing up all of that stuff gotta go there's no room for that mm -mm. you gotta be at a space where you understand things at a higher level at a higher level here the emperor yep hey we are on the trend here so far there's four major arcanas the moon, the fool, the emperor. Now you, you're you about to um, become royalty, basically. I mean, this is like being looked at in a high honor because you now get it. This is somebody who's in, like, they're in control of themselves. It's like, don't see themselves as a victim. They don't see, honestly, they don't think anyone can do anything to them. They don't give that person that kind of power. This one understands that, you know, hey, it happened. I made choices. It led to that. I learned from it and I'm moving on. They don't speak like, oh, this person did this to me. Because that kind of language means that you don't, you gave that person your power. No one did anything to me. This happened. But to say someone did something to me is to say that they had the ability and power over me to do it. So there's a need to change. Shift your um, shift your mindset. Uh, chariot is the fourth major. You know, these these three in the chariot and move forward, move, move on. That's where your success is. You you reach some kind of major um, achievement, goal. Yes. Onwards and upwards, guys. Move on. If you stuck feeling sour, you you got you you got a problem. King of Wands here. I'm just there's a lot of court cards and majors that's all you have actually king of cups queen of wands king of wands and then the others are majors gemini there's something about y'all they oof i i feel like i keep getting this kind of energy around gemini's like this is like y'all y'all have some kind of like major role in helping shift consciousness is there's something here. There's something here. It's going to require you to be in control of your life. Stop giving up your control. All these kings and then the emperor, kings and queens and emperor here. You need to be, you need to understand who you are. What? Mm -mm. How you speak. Pay attention to it. When you talk about your experiences, 
pay attention to the words you're using. A lot of you don't don't realize that when you speak, you give up your power. This emperor, the, the emperor rules an empire. The emperor is in charge. Emperor doesn't give up his power. Emperor is in charge. You're going to have to check that if somebody has a lot of power over you. You need to be in charge. King and Queen of Wands are here. Counterparts. Let's keep going. Queen of Cups. Ooh, I'm getting chills. We got two counterparts. King and Queen of Cups. Queen and King of Wands. If you can learn from whatever situation you're dealing with, they're going to send you a gift. That gift is going to come in the form of your person. Some of you are holding yourself back from reaching that divine love because you're so sour about the past. Oh, I just... Oh, some of you, the same person you sour about, it's them. That's not for all y'all. Just got that. Oh, God. Okay. That's not for all of y'all. You'll know if it's for you because the, but the thing is, there's things that need to be healed in this connection. Y'all came together for a purpose. Y'all have a, y'all have a goal. Mm, I'm feeling some strong energies here. Very strong death. So far, y'all got only court cards and majors. And this is the third crown chakra. Listen, the old energies, they got to die off. Die off. They need to be dead. There's things that y'all need to kill off. The transformation is occurring. The old you is, is being left behind. You have been upgraded. They're giving you a crown here. You left the old you behind. You walked away. You got, listen. Oh, I'm getting some strong energy right now. Oh, God. Gemini's. I don't know what it is about y'all. And I saved y'all for last. Well, y'all came out last, actually. Um, so they saved y'all for last. There are things that you need to just, um, you just need to let it go. Because if I, <laughs> if I said what I heard, <laughs> listen, you need to let that go. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Um, if you're still in your feel, feelings, you, you're not going to be able to claim this energy. You're going to have to get control of your, your, um, emotions here. Understand that things happen for a reason and move on. Move on. They're moving you into new territory. The fool here, death here, transformation. You got the moon here. Oh, the emperor here. Mm. We got king and queen of wands, king and queen of cups. Whew. All right, look, four of cups. Don't miss out on this opportunity, guys, please, please. Four of cups here. Um, a lot of you, you're going to have to work on your heart chakra. Um, be open. Some of you are so hard, so hard. Something has made you gone cold and experience. You're going to have to listen. 
Let the ice melt. Let it dissolve. Let it flow. If you have any emotions that you're holding in, release it. Okay, those negative emotions, they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. Seven of Wands. You, listen, this, you, this is something you need to fight for. They're fighting for it for you. I'm telling all these crown chakra cards are here. Seven of Wands, look at you. You've made it. You have arrived. This is you walking down that red carpet in your new beginning. Um, they want you to really, really fight for this. You've gotten far. You've gotten far. You're on your way. You're on your way. Mm, remain determined. Remain committed. Remain in control. Understand you are protective. But this does take action on your part. You have to understand what's required of you. This is not something handed to you. It does require effort. It requires uh, discipline. It requires understanding. Okay. These crown chakra cards are not here for no reason. You got to see this for what it is. You got to see it for what it is. You got to be aware. Major shifts happening for y'all. Major. This is not small. This is a big deal. Gemini. Please give me a spirit message for Gemini. You'll know if this is your message. There we go. Let go. That's your message. Let go. Whatever you're holding on to, for a lot of you, if you're not getting what you want, or if you feel like the things that you deserve are not coming in, it's because you're holding on to something. Um, I was getting strongly uh, like resentment or something in, in around the heart chakra. Uh, some of you might want to go get some you know, crystals to help with healing the heart chakra i do have the heart chakra bracelet on my website so um there's something that needs to be let go of so that you can reach this and it says once you let go of the outcome you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and the guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you Okay, I know you're protected. There's you're you're being protected, but you play a role in this. They they can't do everything. You have you know the ability to make choices. So um, you know I hope you receive this well, Gemini. But this is your message. Y'all got you got big things coming. You got big things coming. Time to let go. Let go. And come on with it, okay? Um, I do see a, a strong partner for you. Strong partner. Somebody who matches you. Somebody, basically like the perfect match. A divine connection comes in once you get to um, where they're taking you. All right. You have arrived. So congratulations, Gemini. That's your message. And I hope this was helpful. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. I was reading my horoscope report today. It told me that I would find love. That can relate to anybody. How do you even know that message is for you? I did a 2021 timeline report from the birthday gift. So this report lays out everything. It's so on point. It gives you the breakdown of every energy and every event throughout the entire year. It's like your horoscope, but way more in depth for the whole year. What y'all talking about? The timeline report from the birthday year. This is my second year giving it to where I don't even have to get no personal reading anymore. Who's anyone can. 
Y'all been calling. It's the timeline report. The 2021, okay?